Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Miesner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to stabilize footage inside of DaVinci Resolve. Now disclaimer, DaVinci Resolve stabilization is not as good, in my opinion, as Premiere's Warp Stabilizer, but if you're in that situation where you know a client's over your shoulder and says, that shot shaky, fix it, and you're only in DaVinci Resolve, and you're not a you know, Premiere guy or whatever, then you'll have this trick up your sleeve. So without further ado, let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. So I've got this shot I took of this, you know, guy looking out a window at an airport. I learned pretty much everything I know about cinematography from doing street photography. So I pretty much have a camera with me at all times. So in the airport, I saw this scene and said, you know, that's pretty neat. I'll grab a quick image of that. Uh, so it is video. You see, it's pretty shaky right now. Um, but it's not too bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to just stabilize that up real quick. So we've got our first node here. Then we're going to hop over to our tracker tab right down here. Next thing we're going to do is make sure that over here we have stabilizer selected and not window. So you need stabilizer to stabilize your footage. Go figure. Next we'll track it forwards and backwards. And you see resolve tracks pretty quickly there. Now the next thing we'll do, make sure that your strong is set all the way to 100. If you go past that, it will make it shake the other direction, which you could use if you want to. And then smoothing will make it not locked down. So if you turn the smooth up and the strong down, then it'll become more of that steady cam type effect. But for this one, we're going all the way locked down. So strong at 100, smooth at zero. And then lastly, we'll make it auto zoom. So sometimes whenever you stabilize stuff and it doesn't zoom, then you'll get these black kind of blocks around the edges where you know it goes out of frame. But when you hit the zoom button, it'll make sure that your image stays up and you don't have any of those funny little artifact type things. So the last thing you do is you just hit stabilize and there we go, let's play it forward. And you see, it looks like a still image now, but if you look at this airplane in the background, it's still moving. You get a pretty stable image. Now, like I said, this is not the best stabilizer in the world, but you'll know how to do it because it's here. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. If your feelings are more complicated than that, be sure to write me down in the comments below. If you think your friends would like to know how to stabilize their shaky footage inside DaVinci Resolve, be sure to share this with them on your various social platforms. While you're on those various social platforms, be sure to go check out Misner Media. We've got Facebook and Twitter, links for which are in the description. We also have a website, www.meesternmedia.com. Under the Downloads tab, you can find some free goodies that you can download if you want to, because free stuff is always fun. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meesner Media YouTube channel. It's free, so you should do it. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.